Hi, I'm Patrick with Just Got Played. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I want to thank you very much for joining me for Ragnaroks. Ragnaroks is a two-player game by Gray Fox, and at the time of this filming, it's actually on Kickstarter. I also want to specify that the copy of the game that I have is only a prototype, although it's a really great prototype. Uh, specifically, the board is very different. The board is made out of foam core that they gave me because it's what they could do to get it out quickly. The game pieces are very, very similar, although, and you're going to see that more of that in the video. But if you go over to the Kickstarter page, you'll see they've already made some improvements and some upgrades to that. So join me for Ragnaroks. Ragnarok's you and an opponent take on the roles of Viking tribes that are expanding your territories and marking your land with these rune stones. In the advanced version, you can worship powerful beings that give you special abilities or conditions. You start by placing your three Vikings on either end of the board. In the advanced version, the blue player selects two compatible mythological power cards. The red chooses which one they want first and then the blue uses whatever mythological power card that's remaining. When moving your Viking, you select one Viking, move it in any of the six directions designated by the hex, and you can move any amount of spaces along that same path, not changing paths. Next, you'll summon. When you do that, you'll drop a rune stone in any one of the directions from that piece that you just moved, from the Viking that you just moved, and place it any amount of spaces away from that, as long as it's in line with one of the six directions from the hex. Now you can't move through a runestone or through another player's Viking. Once a section is sealed off on the board by runestones and there's only one color Viking behind that wall of runestones, that area is considered settled by that team. So for example, a blue player would be able to settle this area. They'll also be able to collect points for every single area within that sealed off section. If it's closed and no one's Vikings inside, that's considered a wired area and no one's going to collect points for that. When a player can either summon or move, they have to be able to do both in the same turn. If they can't do one or the other or both, then they must skip their turn. The next player is free to continue playing until they can no longer do the same thing. At that point, the game is over. Add up all the areas inside your settled area with your blue Viking or red Viking. Total up the points. The one with the most points wins. This two-player game is right in line with what Gray Fox is doing lately. Super easy games to learn and teach with these beautiful, complex skill levels that are deep inside the game that, that happen while the game is evolving. So it's not too overwhelming in the beginning. Not to mention the tactile look and feel of these game pieces are awesome. Beautiful art, beautiful sculpts, and beautiful gameplay. This is a perfect information game. It reminds me a lot of a game called Go, in which there is no randomness whatsoever. It is all sheer skill, and some people might liken that to chess as well. I love this game. It'll get plenty of play in my house. Thank you very much for joining Just Got Played and Ragnaroks by Gray Fox Games.